So, what's inside a typical animal cell? Well, the first organelle we can often spot is the nucleus. The nucleus has a double membrane. That's two phospholipid bilayers, making up the nuclear envelope. Inside, we find the cell's genetic material in the form of chromatin, which is an indistinct mass of unraveled DNA. There is a darker section inside the nucleus. This is the nucleolus, where ribosomes are made. Lots of nuclear pores can be found in the nuclear envelope, and these allow molecules to enter and leave the nucleus. Next, we find that there is a big network of passages made of membrane. This is called the endoplasmic reticulum. The little dots on the surface are ribosomes. These ribosomes are busy making proteins and the endoplasmic reticulum helps to fold these proteins up and transport them around the cell. Because the endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes on the surface, we call it rough endoplasmic reticulum, or RER for short. So there's another type of endoplasmic reticulum, and it looks very much like rough endoplasmic reticulum, but there are no ribosomes on the surface. We therefore call this smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or SER. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes and transports lipids around the cell. Here is the Golgi body, or Golgi apparatus. The Golgi body looks a bit like endoplasmic reticulum, but don't get them confused. The Golgi consists of a stack of membrane-bound discs piled on top of each other and mostly they are not connected between the layers. Molecules like proteins move through the Golgi where they are refined and packaged for the final function. For example, carbohydrates may be attached to a protein to make a glycoprotein. Once the refining process is complete, the finished protein buds off the end of the Golgi in a vesicle and floats off to where it's needed, either inside the cell or outside. Next, we can see a couple of lysosomes. A lysosome is a special type of vesicle that contains digestive enzymes called lysozymes. When an organelle in the cell gets worn out, or if a pathogen enters the cytoplasm, lysosomes are there to fuse with the unwanted object and break it down. Lysosomes are sometimes called suicide bags because when the whole cell reaches the stage when it's too old or damaged, the lysosomes burst, releasing their digestive enzymes throughout the cell so it's digested from the inside out. Here are some more ribosomes. These ones are free in the cytoplasm. Free ribosomes like these make proteins, usually for use by the cell itself. The ribosomes on the endoplasmic reticulum tend to make proteins for release from the cell. Ribosomes are made of protein and RNA, and they are the only organelles that aren't covered by a membrane. Finally, we get to the organelle that we've all been waiting for, the mitochondrion. Mitochondria carry out aerobic respiration, which releases energy from glucose in the form of ATP. Mitochondria have a double membrane, just like the nucleus. The inner membrane is folded into Christi, which gives it a large surface area for respiration to take place. The inside of the mitochondrion is filled 
with a liquid called the fluid matrix and this also contains lots of enzymes that are needed for respiration. So that's it, a tour around a typical animal cell. If you can fill in this table from memory, then you know that you're confident with this topic. There is a lot of detail and lots of new words to learn, so do stick with it. I've put a link to a printable version of this table and some other resources in the description below. So do take a look and I'll see you in another video. Bye.